Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. I want to go over bed bug spray. Things you can buy yourself at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, it seems like everybody has got the number one solution, the best thing you could use or whatever for the, everything since sliced bread or whatever the saying is. Um, but today I want to go over one specific pesticide and I want to explain some things about aerosols. Uh, an aerosol is basically anything you'd use in a can. So like if you get like Raid or which is what we're going over today. And the reason we're going to go over this is because I had a comment on one of my videos. If you like this video, think about giving me a thumbs up. If you really like it, think of subscribing to my channel because I try to do these videos to help people understand what does and does not work on bed bugs. And I know this is going to be mostly what does not work, but <coughs> excuse me. But um anyway, I do have a lot of videos that explain what to do and how to be successful in, in getting rid of bed bugs. Um, and if I think about it, when I go back and edit this and everything, I'll, I'll put the link in the comment below on uh, or in my description or comment or something like that below, trying to link you to some chemicals that actually do work really well that I use myself as a tool, uh, as exterminator, you know, th that I use in homes that work. Um, but anyway, let's talk about RAID. Now, one of the people that commented on my video says, quote, does this guy even know that Raid sells the same chemical he's using except in an aerosol at Walmart and it's cheaper? All right, this is, let me explain something. Aerosols, even though they have the same active ingredients, now it doesn't work like Tylenol or uh, Advil or, you know, you've got ibuprofen, uh, acetaminophen, uh, naproxen, sodium. Um, these are some of the active ingredients in medicine. All right. Medicine is not the same as a liquid pesticide. The reason this is, is because liquid pesticides like Crossfire has to be, it, the way it works is it's a repellent. All right. Or non-repellent. I'm sorry. The problem with an aerosol is in order to get the chemical to come out of the can, they have to use a propellant. Sometimes it's an alcohol-based propellant. Sometimes it's a chemical-based propellant that causes the pressure in the can because the can is pressurized. So this is what forces the chemical out of the can, makes it spray. Like for example, wasp freeze is a good example. It can shoot like 30 feet and kill a wasp nest. So you don't have to be right up on the nest, but it's got a propellant in it that shoots it out of the can. All right. The issue is, is that crossfire is what I recommend. Now, I don't re recommend the aerosol cans. Uh, maybe if you were going to do a flushing, like if you're trying to flush the bed bugs out from around like a bed frame or a baseboard or something like that, then I can understand using an aerosol can. But if you're going to use something for a long-term effect, which is one of the reasons you buy a Crossfire at all, is because it is a long-term effect chemical. It lasts for 30 days, all right? You can kill bed bugs for 30 days mix it yourself and apply it. Don't go buying you know, Raid. And I'm going to have a picture. I'm going to, you probably already see it anyway. There's going to be a picture um, that I'm going to put here showing the actual product and the ingredient list is identical to the ingredient list of Crossfire after it's mixed, what it actually is. The problem is is that you do not know what the inactive ingredients are. Now, the active ingredient is what they have deemed that kills the bug. So with Crossfire, there's three active ingredients. One of them, pyronyl butoxide's one, uh, and a couple others I'm not going to even try to um, list what they are because I, I will butcher the name horribly. You can go and read the label. I'm going to uh, include that on this video. But the point is, is that you've got the same active ingredients. 
but you do not know what inactive ingredients are. The things in the inactive ingredients are things like the propellant, um, which used to dilute the chemical. So it's not 100% pesticide. It is pesticide, but it may have water in it. It may have a petroleum distillate in it. It may have something else in the chemical that isn't deemed as the active ingredient what's actually killing the bug, but it just the same. It's in, it's in the overall product. So the problem with using an aerosol and why aerosols do not work as effectively as mixing the chemical yourself is because the aerosol is mixed with inactive ingredients that are different than the inactive ingredients of an actual liquid, like a concentrate, for example. Um, you're going to get a more pure chemical that hasn't been, well, just the can itself. You know, the can itself has aluminums and stuff like that in it that do leach into the pesticide. So these things do actively affect the way the pesticide works. So just because you go to Walmart and it says, you know, if you know what the active ingredients are in Crossfire and you read and it's like, oh, it's the same, it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. If it were, I wouldn't be going into homes that have this stuff sitting on the counter and are still infested with bed bugs, totally and completely infested with bed bugs. I did a home just last week. I went in and they had bed bugs in the furniture. They had bed bugs in their uh, sofa and their bed and their box spring. They showed me how to use the stuff. They put it on everything and they still had a horrible bed bug infestation. It's the same active ingredients as Crossfire, the same dilution, the same. Everything's the same as far as the label is concerned. But when you actually read the, when you read, when you understand how inactive ingredients work, that's, that's the key. That's why your aerosols do not work and your liquids do. If you like the video, think about giving me a thumbs up again. I really appreciate you guys taking the chance to give me a chance and watch my videos. And I hope I was, ex ex it's kind of hard to explain how inactive ingredients and active ingredients work. Hopefully I was able to get this through to you guys so you understand why you want to use a liquid pesticide rather than an aerosol can. Um, I can understand going and getting the aerosol if you just need something really quick and in a hurry that you don't want to wait, you know, the three days it takes to get it in the mail or whatever, go and get the aerosol and use it while you wait. That's fine. That's fine, but don't. I won't want you to think that what you're using is going to be the same. That it's going to give you the same results. I don't want you to think that because Raid has the same active ingredient as Crossfire, that Crossfire won't work because the Raid doesn't work. It's not the same. They're not the same at all. So, like I said, if the video was helpful to you, think about liking, subscribing, doing all that great stuff. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks.